So, yes, new outfit. It is, after all, the Circus Freaks. It's just after the Circus Freaks' birthday. We are now two. And I gotta tell you, you know, I, I rode this amazing high. Obviously, I set things up very cleverly so I could have two birthdays, so I could stay young forever. And this pretty in these pants, nobody's buying it, move on. <laughs> That's all I was waiting for. <laughs> God, it's the only reason I get up anymore. <laughs> Long, awkward pause. So, up until this moment, I was having a great, no. I was having a great week, and you know, it was Monday, was, we, we inadvertently celebrated my birthday. Wednesday was my actual birthday. And Thursday night, sweaty at the gym, was mm, the Circus Freak's birthday. What a great way to celebrate two years of circus, to go out and sweat your nuts off. It was awful. And I'm not going to lie, it was, it was terrible. I was in a bad mood. I'd had that, you know, that emotional roller coaster hangover moment where you go all the way up and boom, I was in a crud mood. I walked out there. I was spinning a staff. I figured maybe I could shake my body and shake it out. Nothing. I, I, you can't see it, really, but I've got a bruise in my ear because that's how badly I missed there was no, you come see it later. There was, there was no good moment to be had. And I figured at this moment, forget it. The, the, I was just about to cry, scrub the evening. I'm just going to go sit in a corner. And I turn around and, I, and you got to realize I'm a juggler. I'm a clown. At this moment, what would be perfect? I don't know. Maybe a, a Guinness Book of World Records holding juggler comes in, just walks in the room to make me feel even better about myself. And that's exactly what happened. Great. In walks Dave Slick. Okay, so people who juggle know who I'm talking about. Dave Slick is probably one of the best jugglers in Texas. He's amazing. He is absolutely a legend. He does have a Guinness Book of World Record record for juggling. And he comes walking into our event, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm guessing someone with that much skill, he's going to be... Okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. I, I just was ready for him to be a complete douchebag. I really was. And I said, no, no, our event... Circus Freak's birthday, life going well. Put out your hand, put on your smile, reach out, and come to find out if he isn't the nicest guy I've ever met. He found out about us from a, from a mutual friend, Bender. Hello, thank you for sending him our way. And it turned out he was amazing. He was great. He made me feel good about myself. He's what jugglers call a juggling dumpster because I throw garbage and none of it hits the floor. It's true. I felt really skilled juggling with him because, well, you know, the rest of the time I'm juggling and I'm not very good, but he just cleans it up, hands it back to me, it's real medial and it's going really well. I actually juggled seven clubs with this guy, which I've never done before. So I'm like, I'm really good. And I'm thinking, I'm also really old and he's in his 20s and I need to sit down and take a break. So I go to sit down and he's got all the energy in the world and he's, he's chatting and jumping. And there's this moment, I'm not gonna brag on him too much, but you know, he's on a unicycle riding it with one foot while juggling a large number of clubs while telling jokes. And the kid sitting next to me at the event, because we've all basically just sat down and decided to watch the Dave Slick show at this point, says exactly what I'm thinking. How the hell did you learn that? And he says, 10 years, no life. And I think he meant it. No, um, 10 years, no life. And I'm thinking to myself, 10 years of focusing on that with nothing else, maybe. But I don't know if I'd call that no life considering everything you've accomplished and all the stuff that's making me hate you right now because you're so damn great. We hear talk about the invisible work all the damn time, all of the hours that go in all of the effort we have to put in to be a performer. To get up on the stage is a representation of hundreds of hours of preparation, unless you're me, in which case you're really just winging it. But, because I'm good like that. Not true. That's why I crash like this moment right here where I've got nothing. That's why that happens. Thank you. So, you know what's funny? It didn't actually crash and now I did. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> Back in the show. Okay, so you put in all these hours, and we always talk about, yeah, you put in all these hours, good for you. You put in all those hours, good for you, and, and you, and you, and you, and everybody. We never talk about what you didn't do. Hey, I would, I would love to come to your party, I have said, but I have a rehearsal. 
I would love to stay for the after the party for the show I just did, but I have a rehearsal that starts at 11 p.m. because all of the people that are giving up on other commitments to come out to do a rehearsal, this is the only time our schedule is aligned, so I gotta go by. I, I have been giving up other things. There's the stuff you've gotta do. There's the, you've gotta eat. You have to shower or you're not allowed back. Seriously, monkey. Monkey, seriously. Just gonna say. It's your one for the night. I'm sorry. You've gotta do some of these things. And then there's all this stuff that you wanna do, the stuff that feeds you. I wanna get out, I wanna juggle, I wanna dance, I wanna sing, I wanna, I wanna do all this craziness, right? And then there's this, the shoulds. The should do, you know, the obligation. You really ought to go do that thing you haven't been doing, like your laundry or seriously showering. The shoulds, I know, I'm just really just riding them tonight. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Not really. We have all of these moments where we decide, hey, I need to stop doing the things I feel I I. I, I should do, and we do the things we want to do. And that's when we become performers. Time is precious. You get this much of it, and then pfft, you're done. Thank you for playing. You can have a ton of money. You can buy all your solutions, but you only get so much time. I mean, maybe eventually we can freeze you and thaw you out and bring you back. But in the meantime, you're not Disney, and, well, you've only got this much time. Make it count. So at the end of it all, I have to choose what I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna spend my time and I start to realize just how important the time I spend is. That's why every week when I see all of these people listening to me rather than doing all these other things, I think, thank you for spending your time with me at the open stage. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome back.